This is a quick, uh, quick and dirty demo of the planar, just to show you some of the things it's capable of. Right now, I've got a uh, kind of a complicated patch going here. I'm using only outputs from a Rubicon, and they're being fed into the four inputs of the planar. But uh, three of the outputs are being processed in a certain way. So, output A or input A is its source is the pulse width modulated output of the Rubicon. So that's a pulse that's being modulated by a, um, a Dixie. The second is the sign of the Rubicon is being processed by the microfold. And the third output, which is output C, is the saw being pro processed by the micro VCF bandpass filter. And the um, fourth is just the triangle output, but the Rubicon is being modulated with a, another Dixie um, to give through zero modulation. And the modulation output of the planar, so the X and Y axis, um, voltages that are generated by the joystick. The X axis is being used to control the folds amount on the microfold and the Y axis is being used to control the cutoff of the bandpass filter and the FM index of the, um, the Rubicon. So if I go to the, the four corners here, you'll hear the individual sounds. So I'm just going to bring up the, uh, the output. So that's square. Microfold, bandpass filter, and the just the triangle wave being modulated. So now, if I go between these points, you'll hear the uh, the vector mix of this. can see as I'm moving this that there's a blue LED that's coming on. This is um, part of the slope detector that detects movement of the joystick. So I can use that gate output to trigger an attack hold release envelope on a quadrant. So that's the middle setting of, uh, of one of the envelopes. And that's being used to open and close a micro VCA. So I'm going to turn the BIOS off of the micro VCA and turn up the CV. And now every time I move it, you're going to hear a little blip. play with the uh, decay settings of the envelope. Now I'm going to bring in a little bit of modulation onto one of the axes. This is going to be some um, LFO on the Y axis. hard to see in the video probably, but um, uh, I'll slow down the modulation. The LEDs are moving on their own because um, uh, there's been modulation summed with the joystick position. Turn off the joystick and just pop the modulation. You can see it's going through the Y axis, so up and down right now. Thank you. 